Well, Raspberry Pi sent a development kit along with the other CM5 stuff, so I thought I would unbox it on Level 2 Jeff. And uh, apologies in case there's any technical issues here. A, I have never recorded a video with the setup that I'm using right now, and B, it's Level 2 Jeff. Things get crazy here. So, well, I guess I, I might as well show you what's on here. There's uh, some pretty little pictures, icons of the things that come inside. There's the cover, the top. Little Raspberry Pi logo and the back. Uh, I believe this is like 120 bucks or 100 and something. Uh, the, the, the CM5 launches like in 12 hours. So I don't have time to uh, get all that out of them because I think they're a little bit busy over in the UK. Anyway, here's the box and uh, that's it. There's the compute model. No. So it looks like this is in here. This is a uh, four, 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of EMMC storage so it comes in here and uh, interesting fact i learned at the pie factory these don't come in an anti-static bag because these boxes actually have an anti-static coating on them uh, there's a coating that is either impregnated or sprayed onto these things that uh, means that they don't have to put these inside of special containers and uh, if you if you take one out you'll notice it it's actually a little bit bigger than the box so they actually designed the box to hold it like like that so that it it's stable in shipping. Probably wouldn't want to ship it just in this. You need another box, but here it is. Compute Module 5. If you want to find more about the Compute Module 5 itself, go check out my main channel video. Yeah, the, the thing that I like the most about this is it has markings for uh, all the different EMMC and memory options. That's pretty cool. And uh, hopefully the sound is working. I didn't even check the levels. So uh, let me know in the comments if you can't hear anything. Another thing I noticed that I didn't put in my main video, the wireless chips on here now are on a little riser. I think this is a package you can buy from Raspberry Pi. It's called the RP1RW0 or something, I don't know. Uh, but you can buy these and I guess integrate them into your custom Pi designs. I don't know. Um, but that's just something interesting. It's still the same hardware that they use in the Pi 5. It's just on this little daughter card type thing. Uh, but yeah, there you go. This one has EMMC. There's, there it is on the bottom. And uh, we'll see what else comes in this box. There is the Raspberry Pi cooler. This is a new product for the CM5. And I guess I can check out how it, how it looks out of the box. Uh, there it is. And it comes with some screws and spacers. And it comes with the thermal pads for the SOC, Wi-Fi, and PMIC, it looks like. Um, so it'll go like that. Uh, I'll have to test this. I might do a separate video talking about different thermal uh, control options for the Pi CM5. That's the cooler. Uh, nothing under there. Here's a 27 watt USB-C power supply if I can get it out of there. There we go. And uh, we've seen these before. US plug and it just has USB-C. And of course this is uh, 27 watt but it has the 5, uh, 5 volt 5 amp which is relatively rare for USB-C power supplies. It's an allowed uh, USB-C PD option, but it's very rare. Uh, only really used on the Pi 5 that I've ever seen. Uh, and then there's something under here. Let's keep opening. We have cables. Cables, cables, cables. There's two HDMI cables. These are full-size HDMI because the I.O. board, which I guess it's going to be in here, I hope. Uh, the I.O. board has full-size HDMI outputs, which is handy. Then there's a USB-A to C cable, and I'm guessing that's for programming. It says USB-A mail to USB-C mail. Uh, that's for programming the Pi, since it has EMMC. That whole tray just pops out of here. Uh, there's an antenna, an external antenna. So that's handy. Hopefully a, a good antenna. Some of the antennas that I've been testing with my CM5s have been very poor quality, but this one, uh, this one looks like it's decent. And then, oh, that's heavy. Wow, that's a lot heavier than I was expecting. The I.O. case must be made of steel. Let's open this guy up and see what's inside. Yeah, there we go. Come out of there. That is a heavy piece of metal. A lot heavier than you'd think, but, uh, but feels very solid. Not gonna, not gonna break. And there's a fan on here. So interesting to see how loud that gets. And there it is. It has, it has a little Pi logo. That's interesting. The Pi logo is this way, 
which makes you think you'd want to use it like this. But if you do, then the power button would be on the back. So they have a little, I think that's the power button straight off the I.O. board right there. Uh, and then these, these uh, look like you'd slot something in, but no, you're going to have to open this up to get a cable in and out of there. Uh, but I'm guessing that you wouldn't use this with the cover on all that often. Uh, but let's get it open. And we'll see what's inside. Totally the wrong screwdriver for that. Excuse the awkward shooting angles for some of this. I'm not even looking at the camera while I'm doing any of this. So hopefully it's showing up for you. So hopefully this all comes off without breaking anything. Looks like there's a... Uh, that's interesting. So they have a... This is another cool a cooling fan that I have not seen a cool cox. Interesting. And uh, I don't know how loud it is, but we'll find out very shortly. Here's the uh, CM5 I.O. board. I have... I, I go into this in depth on my main channel video, so again, go check that out. It has an M.2 slot over here. Uh, that is interesting. There's like a thermal pad, or I don't know what this is. There's a, there's a pad. It's just rubber. Just a rubber pad above here that's uh, damping the micro SD card slot. That's, that's different. Uh, and then there's a battery slot for RTC. There's the GPIO header. There's the two camera display ports like on the Pi 5. Uh, this header has a sync out for PTP from the network. So if you want to do a time sync, that's helpful. Um, PMIC enable, I'm not sure what that pin does, but power button, you can jump another uh, power button off of here if you want to put this in a PC case or something. Uh, and these pins, uh, these holes for mounting are actually slightly different than the CM4 I.O. board, which is slightly annoying if you built uh, a 3D printed enclosure for it before. Uh, but otherwise, there's USB 3, there's 1 gigabit Ethernet, dual HDMI, there's the LEDs for power and status, and there's a the little LED that blinks when the NVMe drive is being accessed. And uh, power is now USB-C, so instead of micro USB or the 12 volt input that the old one used, uh, that all, all that circuitry is gone from here. So let's get this uh, plugged in. And I'm not going to, well, I, this probably could fit. Let's, let's see if it fits. I'll put you on here. And then I won't screw it in for now. Goes this way. The the cutout for the Wi-Fi goes where the Wi-Fi antenna is on the board. Goes right here. I don't know if this will fit with the fan. I don't think that the cooling uh, little thing is meant for use with the fan. And indeed, it hits. So yeah, don't you can't use this with the fan in the case at the same time. Uh, but you could use a thinner thinner heatsink with this, and that would probably improve cooling performance a little bit. But I really want to see how loud this fan is, so let's get this... let's get this plugged in. And I guess I could... I could install this antenna as well. What the heck. There we go. And I'll just route this antenna wire around to the connection... oops. <laughs> Well, there goes the Pi. Plug in there. There we go. Okay. So that's in there. And we'll put the antenna on. Spin it around and make it go pointy. Nice. There's our little computer. And that logo... Man, I, I mean, this, this looks like it's supposed to be like this, but then that logo's backwards. It's like Apple turning around the Apple on their laptops. A little strange, but let's uh, plug it in. Trying to break everything while I'm doing it. It's not too bad. It's noticeable. I don't know if you can hear that on the video. But it should quiet down after it boots up. That is assuming that there's an OS flashed on here already, which I don't know if there is or not. It's getting... it's actually getting louder. Here, I'll hold it up a little closer. Can you hear that? It's like slowly lifting off. I don't think it has an OS pre-flashed on here, but let's check and see if the power button works. If I hold it down... Nope. 
Well, power's off, but the fan's still going. I think that might be a bug in the first revision of the CM5 I.O. board. When you shut it down, the fan just goes full blast, which is, I think, a bit annoying. So you might want to use a different cooling option or uh, just live with that sound. I'm not going to review this any further. I just wanted to show you what it was like uh, to get this kit. Uh, but if you want to flash an OS, you would use this cable. And the basic way to do that, I think you need, need to remove the cover and put a little jumper on. But you plug this into here, and plug the other end into your computer, and then uh, you take a jumper, which I'm surprised they don't include a jumper with this, or you can take like a little piece of metal, and you jump the EMMC, there's a thing that says fit to disable EMMC boot. You, you fit that basically, and it'll show up as a, uh, as a USB device on your computer. Then you have to use Raspberry Pi's RPi boot tools, and um, yeah. I have a blog post going over how to do that, and Raspberry Pi has it in their documentation. Uh, but one thing I'm a little surprised by is, for a developer kit, usually they'd want you to get going right away, and I don't see, there's no, there's no little card that this comes with. I don't know if it shows in here. Let's see. So it does have get started product slash CM5 dev kit, so I'm assuming that they'll have something here, like, you know, once you get it up and running, here's what to do next. Uh, but anyway, there it is, the dev developer kit. Um, I hope your week is going well, and if you're in the U.S., have a happy Thanksgiving.